She didn't get to the racks. She did she get in the chat. This ain't my name, it was Get his ass. Uh, I fuck his bitch, then I pass her off. We just a rocker like basketball. Niggas cold pussy be acting hard. Slide on your block of the massacre. Good kick and I don't know karate. Just look keep giving me sloppy. Move when they calling me Bobby. Cup Bravo, they slime and Johnny's. I used to trap with the bleach, it's cash. Credit, we even take visas. Shoot a pop out, yeah, they get this reason. No fucks if he died, that nigga was reaching. They jockin' my swag on they teach. But getting this back, I can't teach him. Trap jumpin', they blow on my beat, but they callin' for fire. My nigga come creepin', they scold on my homies and niggas to meet him. They know we cannot break either. They know they fought with some demons. They know my niggas was scheming. We knock them down like dominoes. I fuck this bitch, then it's out of yo. No one's not coming, you gotta go. But they don't know I got lots of hoes. She know we get to the racks. She think she getting a check. This you ain't get no check, baby. You ain't get no check, man. That's YNG Cheese, man. Let's play ball, man. Listen, man. You're now tuned into me, 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 Start this shit over. <laughs> no, no, I'm not starting over. Start you this shit over. You lose the nut. I'm not starting over. Start this shit over. I'm gonna give you a dab and I'm gonna leave it alone. Start this shit over. I'm gonna dab it up. Dab right. it up. Okay, just know you don't start this shit over. You gonna be? I'm gonna slap it the fuck up. Listen, right in the back of your fucking head. Right while you seat. talking. Story don't, don't, from the cell. Listen, don't, listen. Don't slap nothing up. Don't slap nothing up. Fucking <laughs> left hand from you know hell. What? You know what? You know fuck what? You know what? I'm gonna be the bigger person. Listen, this is Gilly the Gilly the King. Wait, no, no, no! Don't introduce <laughs> That's me. The what the thing fuck you are you talking about? Listen, listen, like, listen, listen. The fuck I'm trying are you to be the bigger about? person. You keep, you keep acting the kids like kids are watching this. You keep acting like we can agree to disagree. Conflict resolution. We my fucking. Uh, All right, I'm not gonna say that. Go ahead. Or right, Kelly and public I'm announcement or something. I'm Wallow two six seven. I'm Gilly the King. All right, all you this, introduce oh, listen, them, listen, nigga. Hey, it and the nasty one. No, no. All, all this is kids. Don't let ego get Devin's you Devin's Rodman. <laughs> this was all about ego. It was. Devin's what, Rodman. Devin's Rodman. But ain't it kind of a bigger ego boost for him to call you the king? He said Gilly the king out of his mouth. No. Dirty, dirty Dev nasty. Dirty one. I'm filthy. <laughs> filthy Dev, a.k.a. Vicious Titty Boy. He Vicious Titty Boy. All the ones that is. Yeah. For, titty. Nigga did he it 40 years old. He went when he was a kid. Titties. When he was a kid. When he was a kid, everybody going to, everybody going to Kitty City. Mom, can we go to Titty Cities? <laughs> I want to go to Titty City. <laughs> it was <laughs> Apollonia's titties in that movie, nigga. They titties at 40. <laughs> oh, he went to, yeah. oh, ain't nothing wrong with that. Listen, listen, don't yeah, listen to this. You suck titties. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, listen. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It ain't. It ain't. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you see what you find out? <laughs> so you, yeah, nigga suck titty. Hey, who the hell? Hey, who the She like this. <laughs> no, she not. Nah. She go crazy. My whole thing is this. this she my, like, when you stop playing thing. to get to the ass. <laughs> this is my whole thing. This is my whole thing. This my whole thing is like this, man. You lick the titty, I want you to lick the shitty. <laughs> hey, but that ain't no problem. <laughs> but this billion dollars worth of game is brought to you by Springfield Hyundai. Listen, this is the place where you walk in. You walk in there and be like, yo, man, I'm trying to get a car. Bobby will pop up somewhere. Hi, I'm Backdoor Bobby. You saying to yourself, why is your name Backdoor? Like, that sounded a little spicy. But it's not because of that. Because Backdoor Bobby, he's actually not spicy. He's actually mild. Because when you go in there, he's going to, you know, because that, that means you're normal. If you're not spicy, you're mild. Yeah. So that means you're normal. Or he might be regular. So when you go in there, because he's going to get you in the front door, you're going to go out the back with a car because you're going back there to go get your car. You got to do your paperwork and all that stuff. But the thing about Springfield Hyundai, they're always creating a program. They got a new program for used cars. If you're trying to get your credit, your credit is banged all out. I'm talking about like your credit was like crash, body slammed. I mean, you know, what's Hulk Hogan saying? When he body slammed you, boom. Oh, wait a minute, brother. Bang. So you got that. Your credit is slammed credit, all up. If, you, if your credit is saying, wait a minute, brother. brother. And the thing about Springfield Hyundai. Hold on, wait. Wait, hold on. So you mean to tell me if you go with the Springfield Hyundai and your credit is saying, wait a minute, brother. Bam. It don't even matter at Springfield Hyundai, huh? Or it could be, a, or it could be Springfield Honda. It don't even matter if your credit. Like, wait no, a minute, brother. No, it's like, it, no, no, you ain't no, got to no, wait a minute. You can leave the car now. That's the song. So you go in there and your credit is like, wait a minute, brother. Skirt, skirt. Wait a minute, brother. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> I don't know about this. Bro. Hold up. <laughs> wait a minute, brother. <laughs> Bam. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> wait a minute, brother. <laughs> Bam. Skirt, skirt. Because, <laughs> because listen, it's still, it turned into amigo single because you still going skirt, skirt after you. <laughs> wait a minute, brother. <laughs> Bam. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> Bam. Got it. 
that way. You know what I mean? Because you're going that way. You came this way, but you're going that way because Springfield Hyundai is going to put you in the car. Because one thing about Springfield Hyundai, they don't approve credit. They approve people and they understand that people make mistakes with it, you know, with their credit. Just like people make every, you know, just because your credit is bad don't mean you're a bad person. Just because you make bad choices in life don't mean you're a bad person. I actually made some bad choices in life, but. Uh, was I a bad, person? a bad person? Oh, all right, but that don't count. Then don't pay me. Oh, don't use me as an example. <laughs> but you can get your stuff together. And Springfield Hyundai is gonna help you rebuild your credit. You go in there, you hook them up. They get you drive away your car. They are gonna hook you up with some. You know what? You go in there. You ask for bags old Bobby. They are gonna give you some. You purchase the car. They are gonna give you some AirPods and all type of stuff. So you are gonna be driving away and you are gonna be going skirt skirt that way. Wham! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when, you, when you come in, you're going to go in the front. Bobby, back door is going to take you out the back door. I'm not saying his name is back door because there ain't nothing going on in his back door, but you're just walking out the back door. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? Springfield Hyundai, 844 drop now. Check them out. They got a new program. They're going to help you rebuild your credit. They're going to help you keep stepping up levels. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, six months, you're going to get it. They're going to keep putting you up. You're going to keep rising. Keep rising to the top. Like a rap song back give in the day. Give me all you got. Give me all, all you got. got. Uh, ain't no, no half stepping. stepping. Give it all you got. Give woo, it all you got. Mm. Woo, 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 ain't no woo, woo, half stepping. Woo, woo, give it all you got. That wasn't part of the beat. Nah, no, just remix it. Oh, remix. Okay. Got everybody remixes somebody else's right. stuff from back right. in the day, so right. it really don't matter. But 8449 drop now. Springfield Hyundai, listen. In Springfield, Pennsylvania. Get with them. You see the information right there. Get at them. They're going to change your whole thing. You're you going to go from walking to driving. And it's just like that. Springfield Hyundai. Let's get to me and I'll the game. Me, 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 me. That weak ass. <laughs> that was the baby joint. I couldn't do the long one because the long one at the beginning. Paul. So your woman. April. V. Gina. Put a Tootie. <laughs> Sleeve Tootie out of this. No, no. Nah. 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 <laughs> Go ahead. They put a private investigator on us. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm good. That's cool. I'm, cool. I'm good. Hold on. Right? They found out some real vicious things. Vicious, like what's vicious? They find out that uh, April finds out that Walla was at the Econo Lodge up the boulevard. <laughs> he the know buns. all. He know all the, the filthy the dirtiest spots. spots. The spots that the she's the forty dollars a forty uh, dollars a short spot, stage you're going in, two hours. When, when you go in there with the with the light, the the the, the, the chemical light, v like find the, out. the whole light <laughs> ran up the <laughs> semen all over the joint. Ah! You want the door look like everything a crime lamp. Scene. The TV is a crime. You like that joint of a semen? Is it's just a, it's just a semen polish. You got hey, semen all over hey, this joint. Wow, that type and, of hotel. He listen, he, listen. he function them joints. And they got nice you know, rooms. <laughs> they v, got good breakfast too. V find out that uh he was up the lodge. No, he was at uh, the Red Roof Inn on Thirty Eight. <laughs> 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 Cherry on the Jersey, mm-hmm. and he was blazing buns. Right, come on, and she's. I'm talking about our women is fucking, I'm talking about the, pissed ain't even a word. I'm mm-hmm. talking about they so motherfucking mad they could break a brick and drown a fish. You feel what I'm saying? Like they on fire. Yeah, I mean, my fucking uh, Lloyd Banks first single. <laughs> Up in here, you can turn it up, she on fire. <laughs> yeah. All this like, You walk in. She's sitting on the bed. Motherfucking rage in her face. She pull that gun out and say, listen, nigga, you're getting shot today. She pulled a gun out. Hold on. <laughs> baby, I busted me. Please don't do this shit. Oh, no, no, no. She already got baby, the receipt. Baby, I, I, I she ain't like, listen. Get, get off your you knees, something. nigga. Do whatever. She like, get please. off your knees, nigga. <laughs> please. Oh, I'm a, oh. All the guys, please help me. All the guys, please. Please, baby, don't do this. I'm telling you, I'm going to get it right. I'm going to go to She like, get off your knees. Can I tell you, get off your knees, I'm going to go to AA. You weren't saying, you weren't praying to all the guys. Give me my hand with the gun. You weren't praying to all the guys. Don't shoot me. You weren't praying to all the guys when you was at the Cuddle Lodge. Go ahead, open my hand Was you praying to all the guys when you was at the Cuddle Lodge? And then listen, and then when I go out, I'm going to play. Yeah, I'm gonna play dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play dead. I'm gonna play like I passed out. I'm gonna slide with that player. That's gonna that's gonna alleviate the, the her shooting. No, me, so. I know April. She listen. gonna say, "Get the fuck up, pussy." Yeah. Don't nobody believe that shit. So listen, <laughs> he gonna try to so disarm this t- girl. <laughs> she pull out that strap. No, she, no, please listen, don't she do. She tell it. you, <laughs> you getting shot today, nigga. No, no, no she but. You get to you get to choose where you getting shot. Come on, man. <laughs> no, do you want it? She said, "Do you want it in your motherfucking <laughs> knee? Do you want it in your foot? Or do you want me to shoot you in your ass, nigga? Knee? Which oh, one you picking? Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. That's too easy. Stomach, ass, or foot? Stomach, ass, or kneecap? No, you got all these four to pick. <laughs> Stomach, ass, kneecap, or foot? But which one y'all picking? 
What you pick? <laughs> One thing's for sure, two things. I know which one I'm definitely not picking. I, the, the stomach, I, I'm picking, the stomach, a, I'm picking stomach, feet. I'm picking a foot. You listen, crazy as shit. I'm picking a foot, dog. I'm not, listen, you hold crazy as shit. Two, they ain't shoot me in my uh, walkers. <laughs> fuck what you talking about. Two can't shoot Your the what? walkers. What? Your what? You two are fucking walkers. <laughs> 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 Nigga, that's like something somebody said in 1913. He said, he shot me in me walkers. His ain't going to be gilly kick out because every time he walk, his foot going to kick out. He's going to be like this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. She can't shoot a nigga in his walkers. Walkers, like she blew my Hershey walkers. <laughs> she blew my Hershey walkers off. Oh, that's a good joke. That. That's a good joke. Yeah. Imagine what half of your foot just come off. No, because Boom. listen. Even if she missed your your foot, is like all bone. Like. Oh my god! So you're even done. if she, I mean, even if she she gonna shatter the bone in your fucking foot, like you gonna be fucked up. You gonna be you not gonna one thing. No, you gonna shoot me in the ass. Because you know what? So, so you like it? Shot in the ass. No, no, no. Oh. no, no, no. Oh. Like that. He said that too. He said that too loud. This quick is a shoot me in the ass. No, no, spice no, no. tea. No, no. Nigga, this no, listen, 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 spice listen, cube. Listen. You get shot in your stomach. You don't know what could happen. Oh, that's death. Right? Possible. That's death. Your kneecap. How you gonna get shot in the kneecap? Knee is worse than the fucking foot, dog. Oh my lord. The kneecap. They she bang boom you joint. you might can't even like you might be done. That's your walker for real. Yeah, she might have to shoot me in my ass too. That's all flesh, <laughs> see, no see, bone. See, see, see. So, cause listen, listen. You can, you can, you can sit on, you can sleep on one cheek. You can sit down on one cheek. You go to sit down. What if she shoots you in one and go through both <laughs> oh, your bones? Oh, it's like you got them pierced. <laughs> so, so he talking about they call that a cheek travel. So if it tra- <laughs> if it travel through tree, you turn, you turn your cheeks into expressway. <laughs> Shoot through that. I mean, that's crazy. Piercing your ass cheeks listen, is listen, crazy, my nigga. Your ass cheeks pierced. <laughs> it's like, nah. And then, then, how do she talk to you after she shoots you in your ass? Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> nah. Shut up. But listen, I mean, you know what would be the you know what be the fucked up part about it? You niggas will take your woman back. Hold on. First of all, I'm still trying to figure this out. How do you ride to the hospital? Like, no, your listen, ass, you got to no, lay listen. on your, on your no, stomach. Okay. Like, you got no, shot I'm in the ass. Going, I'm not going to worry about none of that because you know why? After she pistol with me with the gun, I'm playing dead. <laughs> Oh, and I'm like going to seize your mood. None of your martial arts <laughs> techniques is going to work for right. seize your mood. <laughs> he do all he told, all his martial arts shit. Why you ain't take the gun from him? <laughs> Stop no, playing with that, babe. Stop playing with that shit. It's passion. It's passion. That angry man. She might. And, like, then, and then what's so crazy is that. What's so crazy is that April really dusts him off. No, but listen. What if she, you can't. She, she'll dust him off, right? And then <laughs> call up her assistant. While he laying there dead on the floor, she call her sister over. He come over, choke the shit out of her real quick. She be laying there. She got the marks around yeah. her neck. Can you see him? She be like, can you see him? Yeah, yep. I see all the marks. All right, get out. Some Baltimore she lay, shit. She be laying there with the gun <laughs> while I'm laying on the floor. Ah! I didn't mean to do it, but he choked me. Ah! Yeah. What well, the police look, gonna say? They go what? They, they gonna, gonna come right in? They gonna see the marks on the neck, pussy? Yep. They gonna look at your criminal record? They, they gonna, gonna be like what? he was they on parole? They, they, they gonna look right? Oh my god! They gonna so be like he was on parole in 48. Uh, what? So they case closed? Case closed? I'll give it to you. They gonna say uh, nigga on parole to 2048? Mm-hmm. No case closed. No, but what if you walk in the room and it's taped out in plastic, like all the plastic is <laughs> laid out like? No, no, that's way worse. Because now she about she about to put you in them bandos on the wire. She gonna put you in them bandos. Like that but you only got all the bandos. you know what's crazy? Oh, what <laughs> she always showed me them Jones. Like we be driving in Baltimore. She'd be like, You see that? I'm like, yeah, this banded Jones. They got she a lot about of, to own them like, Jones. She, no, no, fuck owning them. <laughs> She'd be like, Yeah, it's a lot of stuff, you know, all type of stuff happen. You ever see the wire? I said, No. That's why she asked me if I ever mm-hmm. see the wire. Was that like a threat? Yeah. Because we ride past these abandons. She'd be like, Yeah, all type of stuff happened in them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Top five chicks on Instagram. What? Top five chicks on Instagram. Who uh, who niggas oh. think is the baddest chicks? Who's the top five? Oh, 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 that's crazy. <laughs> Disclaimer. Oh, he, 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 he tried to line somebody up. No, because you tried to no, line no, him no, up. No, now no, he's lining line. niggas up. Oh, oh, you saying, no, say that question again. The top five baddest chicks on IG. Okay, that's easy for me. You, you know. Oh, you niggas. 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 You know what I mean? Don't be afraid because it's Instagram, but it's all about what you see and what you and how you see it. Can y'all ready for my top five? I already know what your top five. Is. <laughs> all right, listen, my top five. My nigga. top five. Number one, April. <laughs> we already know
April Keisha, number three, <laughs> April Ebony, number three, April Monica, and number four, April Tammy. And it's different levels of April. You see what I'm saying? And I see different people when I look on a page. Y'all might see. Y'all might see. Yo, y'all niggas is soft. Listen, listen. Both y'all niggas. Listen, listen. Both y'all niggas. Listen, listen. Both y'all niggas. Both y'all niggas. Both y'all niggas is soft. Go ahead. Give your five up. Give your five up. Nah, you go. He got to He got to put you. No, go ahead. Niggas been lining me up every episode. He lied to you. He lied to you up. He's a nut ass nigga. You just talked. Hold on. First off. You don't even talk about Mike. Wait, wait. You just talked about our girl shooting us. <laughs> he primed he primed the canvas and then said you damn know. name five bad bitches on Instagram what <laughs> go on damn it's on you it's on you the dirty devil. He's trying to hype shit up, and he wants. Yeah, to like go ahead, man. What's the top five? All right, so listen. I'm gonna I'm a do mine. He ain't I'm, shit. I'm gonna do mine in a proper way, right? Because he's huh? a nut ass nigga. And April, <laughs> April, April, no, April. No, it's different. Like, April. Nah, no, I, 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 I deal with different hear that levels shit. of April. The I don't want to hear that. The shit is only one fucking April, nigga. The April that will shoot me is different from the April that, that make my food. They different people. Yeah, y'all niggas is so. She only deal with one Walu, bitch ass Walu. Y'all niggas is so. Who wait, wait, wait? Fuck you, mean y'all niggas? Yeah, y'all both. Go in, go in. I'm gonna go in. Go in, baby. Be a real one. So these dudes right here is from Philadelphia. I'm from Camden, New Jersey. So my list might be a little bit, uh, you know, tainted or whatever. You like, like dirty Camden bitches. Cool. So so no, so no, no, so no, no. so I, these 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 chicks don't go in no order to four. <laughs> so and then I'm gonna give you like, a number one. We look at dirty Philly bitches. You look at dirty Camden. <laughs> what is he trying to say? No, women is not dirty in Philly. Go ahead. Listen, hold on, I ain't say that. What? So so I'm just throwing it out there. Just so a lot of funky bitches. No, it's not. I'm not. I don't have nothing to do with that. I didn't say that. There's a lot of FBs in Philly. I didn't say that Philly girls. Fuck is you talking about? I didn't say that Philly girls. There's a we'll lot go. of funky bitches in Philly. Philly girls. <laughs> no, Philly girls. You know, because Philly is like a suburban part of the No, uh, it's not. I'm just saying. Let me. Can, it's my story. Let me tell it, please. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're so a nut ass nigga. You couldn't even name a, a, a chick who you thought was a, was a beautiful chick. I can't wait chick. to get to your nut ass. You know, because we'll at the end of the day, let me just tell you something. You think April ain't going to see this and know you fraud, <laughs> nigga? You got eyes, nigga, you can see. Fuck is wrong with you. It's, it's she's okay still gonna to, respect it, the fraud though. Right. It, no, she not. She is. She ain't gonna respect the fraud because she know the nigga lying. Dev, Look at, get, could you get it off me, Dev? I'm trying to no, get no, it. No, fuck it off me. I'm trying to let him get it to it. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. nah. I'ma name mine. Philly so, girls. Philly so, girls ain't dirty. So 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 I'm representing for Jersey and the people that's right from this neighborhood right here. Uh it's a chick named Marilyn Mello that do her thing online. She but take it up to the next level from Instagram to the like real world of modeling and all of that. You got Toy Box Dial that's from right around here, taking into the art world and shit like that. You got. <laughs> we ain't talking about you, no fucking art. No, we <laughs> are. We are. I Fuck am. Is he I'm naming my list. You talking about Toy Box? I'm naming, I'm naming I my list. I know Toy Box do art, but yeah. you talking about how for art. I'm, I'm naming the. Now, that, I'm now naming when people all of see, them. Now, when people see Toy Box. I need y'all to comment down the bottom. Here. Comment, comment, Yo, and see if you talk about art. Now listen, look on, at the wait, names. Wait, no, no, she's wait, a great artist. I'm naming. Hold on, no, no, wait, wait, hold on. I'm naming. Hold on. Be right. Make sure the names pop up here. Do you want to see two ultra bitch ass niggas? No, this nigga talk about. And then Toy Box, because you know she's an art and she does art. And then, you know, it's a girl named Merlin and she's a part of a, a program that gives hey, back to the kids. Hey, B-Rock, can I show Toy Box on my phone? And, oh, hold and, on. But I will. And, hold on. Please. You heard what he just she, said? She, she's a, she's a, she gives back to the kids. And then it's another girl named Teresa Melody. And um, she, she's, she's a good choreographer, dancer. But what the fuck are you talking listen, listen. about? Listen, listen. So, Dog. because this is my list. So I'm gonna so let him. The way I'm you gotta explain it. Yeah, no, yeah, because, it's, out because no, this is my list. Say no, so, no, no. Okay, so, say so, this. Oh, oh, say this oh, the way you oh, gotta explain nah, it, so you don't get the shit nah, slapped nah, out this you my list. when you get home. No, no. Hey, listen, listen. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Look at these niggas. Look at these niggas. Look at these niggas. <laughs> look at these niggas. Huh? You want to say <laughs> so, that? So so right. so 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 look at these niggas. So speaking of giving back to the kids, what Gilly just said, shout out to Cuban Link also from Camden, New Jersey, and these is all bad Jones. When y'all look through the through the fucking pictures, they all bad. <laughs> all Jersey. They all from Camp. They all from right here in Camden. S shout out. All shout right, now you got two more. Hold up. Shout out Sav Brit. Shout out Sav Brit. This nigga. Shout out Sav Brit. Also doing her thing, mogul levels over in Africa, all that shit. And then, of course, in the number one spot, you already know, Miss V. I'm, I'm a bitch ass nigga. I'm a bitch ass nigga. You already know mine. Now, oh, no, who's next? 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 Who's next?
next This the thing this nigga so upset. Yo, go to your joint. This nigga. Yo, go to your joint, man. I just feel like if you niggas ain't gonna keep it real, why the fuck should I, I keep it real? I kept you it real. Just keep it. Here. He's kept you it real. Just here. He said five. He I said five. Hold on. I named five. You ain't say no. Hold on, wait, wait. I named five, and in them clips, we could throw up the picture of all them five, and all of them go, five they is they, bad they Jones. They're gonna show the five. Yeah, so let's get it. Now, Yo. where's your list? Y'all full of shit. Just number okay, one. Okay, all right, give me your list. I never saw a bitch on Instagram before. I didn't. I don't look at bitches <laughs> I've on never Instagram. seen Instagram bitches I'm ever. trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see bitches on IG. I'm sorry. Do, 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 Listen, bro, we ready. Yo, Listen, hold yo, we gonna make Let's a soft, we're no, gonna no, make a we're soft to, award. We're ready to come into now, now we're ready to get into million dollars worth of game. And million dollars worth of game is sponsored by All American Home Care. Listen, if you have a family member and your family member is a little sick and you want to take care of him, did you know you get paid to be taking care of him? You get the finances you need necessary to make sure you can take care of your family at All American Home Care. They listen, they do transfers. If you already had a home care, listen, they pay the most. They pay the most, without get, a doubt. They get you vacations and all type of stuff. If you want to transfer from another home care, the uh, All American Home Care, you could do that, man. They're going to take care of you, man. But what I need you to do is see this information right there. Or if you're not already taking care of your peoples, you know, with a home care company, you could fill out the proper paperwork and you can start getting into that to take care of your family member that's ill or sick or whatever's going on. And you know, you might have a grandma, you might have an uncle, you might have an aunt, whatever it may be. But what I need you to do is get with All American Home Care at 215-531-7882. 215-531-7882. My allamericancare.com. Check them out. And they are sponsoring this episode of me Man, that's worth a game. Game. Let me ask you a question about All American Home Care, though. So if you already part of a, another home care and you taking care of your family members off that, you could just transfer you right transfer over to because all, they give all, you all they give you the And they're going to pay you more. They're going to pay you more. They give you that money. You can transfer over there. They're going to help you up with vacations. I'm talking about um, a higher salary, signing bonus, all type of stuff. Okay, you know? so what I'm saying is if you are part of a home care and it's not All American. Bobby, do that and, home care. And you know that you could transfer over – to all American home care and make more money, and that's pretty much guaranteed. Why all you would do you transfer. transfer? All you gotta do is transfer. That's all you gotta do is transfer. As simple as that, man. All American home care at myamericancare.com. 215 531 78 82. Come on, start taking and care of And they the best people. in the Philadelphia they're area. They're the best. Listen, they the best. They out here doing their thing. Take care of your peoples and get paid doing it. And it's just like that. Okay. Let's get into me and Osworth for game, right? So. This girl says, hi, Gilly. I'm 21. I've been with my boy friend since I was 14. We have a son together. That's two. I feel like he gives me mixed emotions. I feel like I got to force everything and the only one trying to make things work. He left his phone unlocked last night. Since he got his phone, I never went through it. Constantly trying to talk to him, and he don't bear with me. It's like he don't, He only act like he care when he wants something as far as sex, money, so I finally went through his phone last night, and while I'm chasing him, he's chasing somebody else. While he's telling me he's busy, et cetera, he's making time for her. It hurt because, like, all I do is work, go home, and I do anything and everything for him. The fact that I'm so in love at a young age hurts even more because it's so toxic. Toxic. I don't know what to do anymore. I just can't leave him alone. What you think, Gilly? Well, first and foremost, I think you let in your heart cloud your mind. You feel what I'm saying? If you got a guy that you've been with for all these years and you saying, oh, I, I do everything for him, money, sex, what are you doing for himself? What are you doing for you? See, all these women is in relationship where they, where they low-key think they can buy a nigga. They be knowing they fucking with bum ass niggas, but they be like, long as I keep him happy, long as I keep a roof over his head, long as I do all these things, he gonna get time, he gonna grow up, he gonna... A lot of y'all wishing on a star. Because how you in a relationship with a nigga in Utah, but you do everything for a nigga? The fuck is this, a one-way street? In a relationship, relationship supposed to be like Broad Street. That motherfucker go up and down. That motherfucker ain't just no little tiny ass street that just go one way. You always doing for this nigga. What the fuck do he do, he do for you? 
So a lot of people be in relationships where they already know it's fucked up. They already they already know they they should develop an exit plan. What's the exit plan? You got to know when to hold them. Mm, mm. Know when to fold them. Mm, mm, mm. Know when to walk away. Mm -hmm. Know when to run. Right, you got to know when to run. You got to know when to fuck to walk away. Like, See, you know where where people fuck me up the most when they come in my when when they come in my Instagram and they ask me for game and they say all this bad shit that a nigga do. Yep. Or all this bad shit that their girlfriend do. And then they ended off, but I love them so much. And I, well, who do you love more, yourself or, or that nigga? Yourself or that, or, 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 or that girl? I'm confused. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to always love myself more than anybody else. Myself got to come first. So at the end of the day, if you got a nigga who you got to chase the nigga, you got to go to work, you got to pay the bills, you got to give him money, bitch, this ain't no fucking relationship. That's a fucking daycare. You got a grown-ass bum. Is they the new daycares? The yeah. man cares? Yeah, the man cares. Yeah, I'm. I, a lot, I, a lot of a lot of women out here opened up man cares and don't even fucking know gotta, it. Hey, I'm a man care service. <laughs> you want to take care of you? You want to you want to put a dent on my in my refrigerator, in my bed, in my couch? You want to you want to you want to you want to war? You want to break my son game in? Any way our sponsor could pay them to take care of their boyfriend? Sponsor, sponsor, this is sponsored by Man Care USA. Hi, I'm Keisha. I got a man care service. Hi, I'm Tammy. I got a man care service. <laughs> Uh, are you a are you a busted and disgusted <laughs> nigga? Do you need shelter? Are you tired of living? Do in you your need mom a hot basement? vagina? Do you need a hot pocket? <laughs> do you like to think? Do, do you like to take advantage of a little kid? Juicy juices. <laughs> are are you not going anywhere in life? Do you rip refrigerator doors off? Come to Tamika's man care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so so at the end of the day, baby, it's like shut down the man care. Shut your whole surface down <laughs> and put that nigga out on the road. Make a nigga appreciate you. Sometimes you got to take a nigga situation away from him for him to be able to appreciate it. That's crazy. Sometimes you got to take all the amenities away. Yeah, you know I mean, what the fuck is a hamburger without no goddamn cheese and ketchup <laughs> and fries? And just, sometimes crazy. you got to take all the amenities away for a nigga to understand how you good some shit will some they, how good some shit is. You feel they, what I'm and saying? And they need to know that. Before we go into that next thing, I, it was something I was talking to Dev about. And it's a lot of, you know, we give out game on me and I was with a game. And Gil said something that interesting to me. One day, we were just driving and I said, yeah, man, it's like, you know, I'm just talking about the cities. You know what I mean? Because everywhere you go is somebody that rap. There's always somebody in your DM that's sending you some music. And I and I came to the conclusion that me, I said, man, there's like 1,500 rappers in Philly. Now, Philly is 1.5 million people. Gil said, what? He said, man, it's like 25,000 rappers. I said, hold up, man. I said, it can't be. And then I thought about it. It's like everybody I know knows somebody that rap. Everybody got a family member that rap in the inner cities of America. So it's like literally might be like 25,000 people in like a city like Philly and New York is probably like hundreds of thousands of rappers because everybody trying to get on, which is cool. A lot of times people be trying to get on, but they don't, they don't really know the game and they just be wasting a bunch of time and wasting money. And some people might have a good song but never get heard. And then I was talking to Dev, and he was talking about sound libraries. He he educated me on something that I don't think a lot of y'all don't know. So, Dev, break down what's a sound library, how you get involved with the sound libraries, so, and the benefits of sound libraries. So, I, I want to say the first thing is I wouldn't sell nobody like not to chase their dream like a person want to be rapper. No, 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 no. We, no, you, we, you, we, you, we being clear. You lying we, like a motherfucker. No, I tell a motherfucker well, in a minute. I, Nigga, go get a job at Macy's. What well, so. <laughs> we'll qualify you to tell them that? What would they, is the sound? Yes. Oh, you saying be based off of if they trash? Yes. I, oh, oh, yeah. I'm not. I don't mean so, that. So I don't mean that. Right, I tell day, a motherfucker quit. In a day, I get that. Listen, nigga. Day, for, let me tell you something. In order for you to blow, God got to come down and physically <laughs> touch you as fucking self. <laughs> you whacker than a motherfucker, bro. Now listen. Like God, you right? ain't even got a shot. God now, got to now, come, now, come down back and the average touch dude you. Come the average dude comeback is well, so and so was whacking. He made it. Yeah, but the, they That's ain't as whack as your ass. <laughs> All right, now, now, if you run into ten guys a day that rap, how many guys could you tell that to? All ten of them. If all ten of them <laughs> niggas whack. No, I'm just saying. What's See, the one thing about what's me. The, no, what's the percentage of whackness? Oh, it's gonna be here. at least. It's gonna be at least seven out of ten. That Damn. Just, and what makes them whack? What make an artist whack to you? Okay, first of all, uh, your flow, your voice, 
your look. It sounded like your some, beats. Sound, sounded like if you listen. Your if, beats. If I'm from Memphis and I'm sounding like somebody from Philly, is that is that that quality? Oh no no no, 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 no. Oh, what what what? Ninety. If That's, there's twenty five thousand rappers in Philly, seventeen thousand of them niggas sound like they from Atlanta. More than that. Pussy, you ain't gonna be shitting on Philly. <laughs> shit on more than that. You, you shitting on Philly. Philly. More than that. Wait, hold on, nigga. The, the Jersey is the his, same no, motherfucker. I, 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 it, right? So I didn't, general, nobody, I didn't say that. I'm talking in general. General. He talking nigga, about Jay. He talking about Jay. In Jersey, Jersey is the same. You, you, know, you know it. You know it. Like you know it. Philly nigga. You fucking out of your mind. You out of your mind. You out of your mind. You already know we don't sound like no bootleg Philly. You out of your fucking mind, nigga. Go ahead and what you were saying. So at the end of the day, one thing's for sure, two things for certain. Somewhere along the line, Philly lost its culture. Could you say that about other cities too? Uh, probably, but I don't be in other cities and I don't see. And, I mean, I be in other cities, but I don't see as many rappers as I see in Philly. So you know how many times I come in a nigga like, let me play you some music, Gilly, and I'm like, um, cool. Where the, where the fuck you from, Florida? Hmm? <laughs> fuck, fuck it. You ain't future. Are you from Atlanta? You ain't future. You the past, nigga. Fuck it. <laughs> You ain't Kodak Black, nigga. You Kodak Whack, nigga. What the, the where the fuck are you from? Even with they ad libs, niggas ain't even clever enough. Uh, first of all, an ad lib, just you could say anything. <laughs> I mean, that's true. You you could say anything in an ad lib. Why the fuck is niggas using all down south ad libs? It's just the music no, no, they're listening my, let me to, tell you bro. Something. Let me tell you something. Let I'm me just, tell you something. Just because I listened to Biggie Smalls growing the fuck up, you wasn't going to hear me say, oh, baby, baby. What the fuck you talking about? Yeah, well, I'm I, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I'll you, tell you what you I'm talking about. You want, I listened to Tupac, you wasn't going to hear me say, thug life. We didn't grow up in a time period where the internet made everything kind of one place. Everybody talks with to everybody's slang. Is the slang's not that I, much bro, different. Hold on. I grew up listening to Jay-Z. I ain't going to say, oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm not. Was like, he coughing? Was uh, you just on, coughing? Hold on. Let me just say this. I, I be around a bunch of Philly niggas. They talk about, what's up? What's up, slime? Slack. What do that mean? I, 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 don't, I, w I couldn't tell you because I'm not from where that, that, that uh, slang was. So it's like. It's like it's so gang it's like, term. It's like, see. What do that mean? See, this is the type of nigga I was as a young boy. I could acknowledge that. Uh, I like what they got going on. That's some fly shit. But I don't acknowledge it enough to jump on you niggas' dicks and start saying it. I don't acknowledge it enough. That's like that's like me being from Philly and start, yeah, word the mother. What? That's basically what niggas do nowadays. I don't think that's like when I, New York was running the game. I think you're thinking with an older person's mentality. No, 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 no. That's like when New York ran the game. That's like me being from Philly, and because New York is running the game, now I'm talking like a New York nigga. That ain't got nothing to do with being old and none of What are you talking about? I, if you let me talk, I'll tell you oh, what I'm talking about. Explain. I don't, we, live in a we grew up in a time period where you were stuck in your neighborhood. With everything that you heard, right, was right there. You going to talk with the bull, this, that. We got our own languages. You had to go somewhere else to pick up other slangs so if i was up here and i heard people say off the hook off the hook off the hook then i moved down south and people didn't say off the hook they say off the chain if i lived there for 10 years like my brother did he talks like them but in today's time everybody's on the same internet everybody's getting the sling at the same time but that's you, a fact but do you abandon do okay. you abandon your slang i'm not saying that's what he's saying no that's not that's what a, i said uh, uh, let me tell you something said. if i'm from philly i've been to philly since i was a grown-ass man and then i got i went to cash money i was around them niggas every day for three and a half years. I never start saying Wody because I know the fuck I am. That's fine. I know that's fucker. So that's gonna so, go. Uh, so, go. So let me ask you. I'm start so, so let me like ask you something. Niggas. So let me ask you what? something. Who that's owns? A dick so, so let me ask you something. Who owns the word lit? Who does that belong to? New York, Philly, a uh, down south. Certain slings come out now, and everybody gets it at once. That's why these people sound the same. I'm not trying to judge an 18 year old on how they talk not, as a 40 year old man. I'm not. I'm not judging. I'm just saying niggas don't. Niggas and, lost their culture. And, or, and, niggas lost where they're and, from. And, niggas, and we all, still okay, like their music. You listen this. to singing raps? Do let, you listen to singing let's raps? Let's just say this: when uh, when a uh, Atlanta nigga throw a Philadelphia nigga on, he want to hear a nigga from Philly. He don't want to hear no bootleg fucking Atlanta nigga, okay? That's why, let me ask you a question. 
Who's the hottest niggas in Philly right now? All of them sound like Philly niggas. Tell me one nigga that blew so, coming. Tell me one nigga that blew coming out of Philly that didn't sound like a Philly nigga. Little uh, Uzi Vert. Uh, Uzi didn't come out of Philly. He came out of Atlanta. The difference is people no, what don't Uzi give was here a fuck. In Philly, what, in, what Uzi was here in Philly? You right. People didn't give a fuck. Then he went to Atlanta because that was more acceptive of what he was trying to give off. If he would have stayed here in Philly, it might not have worked. And then did Philly, he, and then did, did Philly I'm, people I'm, accept I'm, it? I'm asking, I'm, I'm saying this. Everybody when, accept you when you blow. Uh, absolutely. You Everybody jump Jeff. on a dick when you, you blow. When you so blow. what's your point? They gonna accept I'll tell my you. Point what, is, my point is, tell me one motherfucker that blew coming out of Philly that don't represent a Philly nigga. <laughs> Who's all these niggas that's blowing that you talking about? You think Tierra Wack raps in a Philly style? No, Tierra Wack is a lyricist. I understand. Stop, stop. Make, we keep on making up these little side rules. What I'm saying is people Tierra are creating Wack art. Is listen, a lyricist. listen, regardless of the fact, niggas want people to live in a hey. time period that was the 90s Wait, and on. how kids are. No, 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 no. I, We're I, not I, saying that. that. What are you talking about? That's what it is. Okay, okay. If it was different. You would be able to tell me one person that blew coming out of Philly that didn't sound like a Philly nigga. Right, what I'm saying, he's trying hold to say, I'm still wait, trying to name, wait, I'm wait, trying to name wait, all wait, the people wait, that blew wait, in on, this wait, time wait, right now. On, wait, wait, hold on, because Tierra Wack didn't blew coming out of Philly. I'm still trying to name all the people that blew out of Philly. Who am I naming? Meek Mill? No, what we saying is this: anybody what that ever made some fucking money from rap. Yeah, in a what time period? It don't fucking matter. It do matter. That's what, what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's my argument. Well, why Meek the still, fuck Meek, do Meek it matter? Meek still, Meek still. Why do, why do it and matter? And I'm saying Meek is a no, no, no. time. Explain because why, is it, why does because, it matter? Because we're talking, I'm saying, we're talking about what, the I'm, culture now. I'm saying, but what, Meek I'm rap saying, like, Meek I'm rap saying, like Philly. I'm exactly. saying, name one nigga. I don't give a fuck what era is from. Cause to me it seemed like you beating around the book. I'm not. I said okay. all the. I'm, I'm naming all the. Name, name, uh, let's name, name all the nigga. rappers. All, what's the rappers that recently that recently blew? Let's talk about the last eight years. We talking about Meek Mill and Lil Uzi Vert. That sounds like a fifty percent. PNB Rock. No. PNB Rock. Can, sing. I, PNB. Perfect. PNB Rock make the same fucking kind Rock. of music. He make the same fucking kind of music as all them other niggas that's in that category. Yes, he does. PNB Rock blew out of Philly. He. You want me to play his first song? But I'm just I'm telling you P and B no, rap all that question. music that I was hearing I'm asking was you the a same question. singing songs I'm and I'm telling you, you the answer. I like this. It don't matter if like you this. sing like or it. not. I like I'm it because about, I listen to music. It don't matter if you sing or not. I'm talking about what he embodies. That's a Philadelphia nigga. That's what I'm talking about. When he blew, he was saying Philadelphia slang. When he took off, you want me to take the song back? You want me to take it back to the first song that got him really, really popping? He was rapping about Philly. I was in jail. I mean, that's fine. He but was, the, the song, sound, the we're song. Talk, we started talking about music. The, the music song, is the same as the Universal song, at this the point. The song that he was representing was talking about Philly. My, my whole thing is when you see in Atlanta people, they embody their culture. When you see Memphis niggas, they embody their culture. When you see New Orleans niggas, they embody their culture. I don't know what a lot of niggas is doing down there, but when you be in Philadelphia, a lot of niggas don't know where they from. Well, we'll just dis we'll just disagree. So, like, and what like I'll do is Cam what I'll do like is in Camden. Listen, this is what like, I'll do. Like, like Jay Copes. Is he representing the Camden nigga? Ain't he, he don't I, that's and that's exactly what I mean. If I was see, saying what a Camden nigga sound like rapping, it would be somewhat like a Philadelphia area rapper, right? That was from 10 years ago. I'm, I'm not, talking about with a certain no, no, type I'm of market. I'm, so, I'm talking so, about what's going on in so, Camden so right what now. I'm saying, no, about, right. So I'm telling you. So if I'm listening East to Jay Copes. Eastside, that's where wait, I reside. Right, I had under, a couple that's man fine. What is that? It don't matter. It don't, it don't, it don't matter what a nigga Camden. said. I'm talking about if I'm listening to the music, I can't hear the music and be like, he came from Camden. Back in the day, you listen to music, you knew. That nigga Gilly's from Philly. That nigga Beanie Siegel, you could tell that nigga's from Philly. When you listen to him rap. You cannot do that in this time period. And I and I won't say that and just take a Camden person's side. Niggas is fire. I think they fire, but I don't think they sound like, oh, that's a Camden sound. The same first way. Of all, so yeah, it works. First of all, no, no. Okay, no, hold on. Wait, 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 let me say this. Sound like you can't say, you can't say it's a Camden sound because no fucking body ever blew from Camden to put y'all fucking sound on the map. Hold on. No, no, no. That's on the map to you. We live in Camden, so we do know what a Camden sound sound like. Well, How a nigga, you just said, you just what's a Camden sound? I said, I said a Camden sound. 
Chris no, out. Camden. No, that's what's the Camden style? I'm gonna say the same thing I said two uh, two minutes ago. A Camden style is that same forward rap style that's kind of like Philly, because obviously we're two minutes away from y'all. So we that, breathe the same. So so so, so y'all basically got a bootleg so, Philly style. Is what you saying? Nigga, we all from right here. Okay, so at the end of the day, y'all don't have no fucking style to separate y'all from us because so, the so, hottest niggas is over there, and we listening to them. We fuck with they music. Yeah, we gonna spit like them niggas. Right. Yeah, right. Just like Connecticut niggas yeah, right. do with New York niggas. No, that's not, no, that's absolutely not. We just all live I'm gonna here. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say we this. We all live I'm here. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. That's what y'all hear on the radio. Well, what I'm saying Philly is, is Jay oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jay Cole. That's what y'all heard on the radio hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Philly niggas. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not taking nothing away from Camden, but that's what y'all heard on the radio. Wait, 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 wait. And there also was a bias when it came to Camden rappers being on the radio in Philadelphia in the 90s. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. No. Who whoever came out of Camden that was super fucking hot Hold that this, took that this I'm just is saying, the whole point. I'm just saying. I'm asking you a question. Who came out of Camden that was super hot that it ca- got over to Philly and they was and niggas was like, yo, that nigga's on fire over in what Camden. What I'm trying to explain to you is the radio in Philadelphia. We could go about back on this My all nigga, day and fuck listen to the radio. The For our you talking about the radio, nigga. Before I got to the radio, nigga, I was on fire, nigga. Guess before what? Before Meek Mills hold got up. to the radio, hold he guess was what? on fire. You was on fire in Philadelphia. Before Beanie Siegel got to the radio, he was on fire. You was on fire. You was on fire in Philadelphia. The way Porter Rich is fire over here. The way niggas like Big O that's nigga. out here, that's fire. My the way, nigga. hold on, the my way, nigga. hold on, wait, wait, wait. Are you the way Mir, the way, cocaine, the way, nigga. the way, the way Mir Fontaine, the about, way Mir Fontaine is cocaine, hot over nigga. here. You the talking about, you, talk- you talking about what's going on over here. Cocaine, you talking about nigga. what's going on the in Camden, is- New Jersey. Let me just tell you something. Let me tell you something. You talking about Camden, New Jersey. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. No disrespect to none of them niggas because I know all of them niggas. And all of them niggas will tell you they ain't nothing in they fucking life had a buzz like me, nigga. The fuck is you sitting here talking about? I don't think they're going to say that. That's why I said this conversation will just go on forever. Nigga, I was bigger than Camden than they fucking was. The fuck that's, are you that's talking why, about? That's why, that's why, that's <laughs> why, that's why. The fuck what, is you on cocaine nigga, in this joint? Nigga, first off, first off, first off. What are you talking my about? My city, my city. And I don't is, even talk about myself hold on, hold on. like that. My, I was bigger than Camden than all them niggas put how, together. The my fuck city, are you talking about? My city about? is eight miles big. Stickers on crack cocaine, man. But listen, th- this is my whole thing, Dev. This is no disrespect thing. to Porter Rich, Shaquille. I know all of them niggas. I, they they ain't never had a fucking buzz like me. The fuck are you talking about? Because if they did, that shit would have came to Philly just like Big U got on the fucking radio in That's Philly. That's not true. It was never no issues with Big U getting on the re- with Big U getting on the radio. The fuck are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, Big U stayed on. on the fuck nine. are you talking I'm about? I'm telling you, he stayed on. They're always been. That's that low key yes. from Jersey. No, no, yeah, that's, that's that low key from Jersey. If you are from Camden and Philly, the fuck you talking about? If you are from Camden and Philly, Porter Rich was hot. If but you, you say Porter Rich was, I mean, Porter Rich was just as hot as you. The fuck type this, of crack cocaine as you, nigga. Know. Everybody the from Camden and Philly you. know there's always been like a Camden Philly rivalry. It's Man, always been there. I used to hang in the projects in Camden. No, Big U ain't as a young nigga. No, no, Big U ain't from Camden. Everybody know. Everybody know I used to hang in the projects as a young nigga. Centerville projects. Everybody that's, fucking know that. That's fine, Everybody bro. know. So don't. So and I was a I, young. No, it's not a don't. I'm hold telling on, you my on. opinion. Can I finish? I mean, dog, you. you if, if we didn't fuck with Camden like that, why the fuck would I be hanging in Centerville projects as a young nigga? Nigga, you're not the whole Philadelphia. We ain't biased. You just like if you Bro, hot, you're not the whole Philly, bro. Can I finish? If you hot, nigga, you hot. Big U came down from Trenton. So basically, you saying nobody from Camden never been hot enough? That's what you're saying. Can I finish? I'm wait. I'm here. I'm waiting. I mean, to no, make you gotta shut sense. the fuck up for me to Nigga, finish. You've been talking all. Like, I'm just. Te- I'm answering your question. I'm gonna let you go. I didn't ask no question. I've been answering the first question from the beginning, and I've been said we could drop that shit. No, because we're I'm not gonna, gonna go. agree. Okay, you're okay. not gonna agree. Okay, That's how okay. Simple it's it cool. Is. My point is, it's cool. Now you done? It's yeah, cool. I'm on crack. Motherfucking Big O is from Trenton, New Jersey. That nigga's looked upon damn near like a Philadelphia artist. He come, all the studios, everybody love him, everybody show him some support, everybody is, because he's hot, nigga. The fuck you talking about? Don't make up no, you, maybe you and your niggas was never hot enough, nigga. All right, so now, so hard, so, so, so check fuck, this out. Nigga. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 what, nigga. what? So look, so check this out. All you the see fucking how, work so look, I put in, nigga. Listen, listen. I so, was unsigned, nigga. I had motherfucking right, niggas putting so, up. Uh, I had every he record, just named a dude. I had every record label in the fucking game bidding over me. And you talk about some niggas that ain't never been signed. 
No disrespect to niggas, but you know how much fucking money I done made out the rap game? Yeah, we talking okay. about you don't, being... Don't, don't, don't compare me to niggas, man. Hold on, Leave first me off, the fuck out hold on, hold on, shit. first off, you started comparing you. No, you, you said... You made you, you said, Philly. You made Camden. you Philly. You, you said, made you Philly. You, you wasn't you even in a discussion. Hold on. Hold on. Ain't making you, a Philly. Hold on. You wasn't even if in the, the niggas, discussion. All the niggas that you was out. We heard even, the poor the rich in Philly. Hold on. You wasn't we heard in a discussion. We heard of all them niggas you named in Philly. I fuck with all of them niggas. Right. But but where did I compare you? They wasn't on fire. I want you to tell me where I compared you. To the point you. where it was like, yo. I'm still trying to figure out when the, I compared you since I didn't mention you. It you came right you. over the bridge. You mentioned you. Meek Mills was on fire. It came over the bridge. It came over the Camden. Gilly was on fire. It came over well, the Camden. Did I mention him? He, he didn't mention you. He just talked about I never mentioned him. He talking about Philly. He not mentioned You're not in it. He keep he making about, it about him. Not even a my rapper nigga. joint. Not my even nigga. a rapper joint. Even, even Gilly sat here and said. Not even a rapper He sat here and said it was niggas in Camden that had a buzz that was just like yours. That's his exact fucking words. He mentioned him. What are about? No, no. He I don't threw, know that part. Listen, I listen. Didn't, I wasn't he, he didn't say that. Wait, 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 hold on. Did he not say it was I'm, niggas in Camden who didn't make it to the radio who had buzzes just like yours? The listen, fuck type of his, crack cocaine is he smoking? Listen to what I'm telling you. He brought himself up first. I'm talking about my city who everybody's listening to over here. But he don't want to hear about from a person that lives here on what niggas is All talking I'm about. Is so that it's almost, real buzzes. They should take them where they gotta go. And all that then, niggas have real buzzers, but Phil, you trying to make uh, see you trying to say and act like it was a conspiracy of like Philadelphia niggas hating on Camden niggas. I'm never gonna let it, you live that you, down. Yeah, but you make you it, just sit, you, you just try to you, say and make you, it seem like it's conspiracy. No, because Camden niggas not, couldn't make it on the radio. No, no, it wasn't no conspiracy with he, the radio. No, he made it. He made all it larger. Philly, all the Philly niggas I took to the radio. I took fucking Big O to the radio, nigga. Me. Nigga, he made, so don't make it like it's hold on, no conspiracy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One, one. He just keep. He said Big O. Big O's a perfect example because he's not from Camden, New Jersey. Right. I'm and telling you. Love I'm, and I'm telling because right because there's never been. There's always been. Shout out uh, to all the Camden there's niggas. Always I been, fuck with y'all. There's but y'all always niggas been. Y'all wasn't buzzing like there's me. There's always on, been a rivalry. Y'all gonna sit back and say, come on, Camden Dev. and Philadelphia. We fuck with Gilly. But we it's know that's in your fucking mind. It ain't no, never been a robbery with us. Bro, we, we look it at Camden has niggas just been. like Philly niggas. They the niggas right over the bridge. Yeah, now, right, listen, now we, listen, now listen, we know listen. that's not true. Listen, listen, listen. From his own words listen. that he always says. Oh, hold this old twist. We say Camden Both niggas is just like Philly niggas. They the right over the bridge, they get busy. The crazy part the crazy part about this whole thing is this whole discussion was about sound live. So it's about sound it got like turned, turned, he yo, 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 turned yo, yo, it into listen, something about him. Listen, both of y'all, both of y'all, shut the fuck up. Just shut up. Nigga, fuck both of you fuck, niggas. Fuck, shut the fuck up. Listen, <laughs> we're talking about you. You can go to the gym with some gloves so I'll be both of you niggas. I'm we can go in the cage. We can go in the cage. I'm going to wrestle with men. I'm taking you to wrestle with men. I'm wrestling with grown men. A fight is a fight is a fight. You're wrestling with men. We're going to go in there and wrestle with men. No, we can niggas invite grown men to wrestle. No, we can put gloves on wrestle. We can put We can put no gloves on gloves. We can put no gloves on That's what I'm saying. Sounding sound library. We're going to your ass from behind. But listen, forget. Listen, degree to disagree. I wrestled you down. Listen, no, that, you was a good, that was a good debate. But sound library is what? A sound library. What is that? For artists, for anybody out there that's trying to do their thing, they doing music, they making great music. Some people don't have the connects. But so how do you, tell them sound library, so, how can they get so their I'm, shit on? So I'm very focused. So I'm going to say what I said in the first thing. And the first thing I'm going to say is I'm not going to tell nobody to not chase their dream. That's how they right, got right. turned into that shit. All right, shit, go ahead. Right? So I'm not going to tell nobody, yo, you, you can't. Don't rap. Don't do this. All I'm going to say is while you rapping and trying to do what you do, look for your other options to do other things. Because while you rapping and you making those connections, if you making melodic music or whatever the case may be, or like what Gil says, if people lost their identity and they're making songs like a dude from down south, well, guess what? You don't have to rap those songs. You can sell those songs to other people. You can make songs that you don't want to put out as yourself where you do sing like a nigga from Texas or somewhere Oh, so you go and, into you go into a, 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 a different name and put it on sound, sound sound. No, 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 no. Literally, you make those joints, and when you working in the studio with people, yo, check this joint out. I got something that I think will work for you, and you start putting them joints out. People start knowing. Gil wrote mad songs for mad other people. You feel what I'm I saying? I wrote songs for Gil no, too. He wrote songs for other people. I wrote songs for other people. We ghost wrote. But where's the so, sound? So, so, I'm, so I'm gonna sound. tell you. So I'm gonna tell you. So as you keep making these relationships and you're meeting people that's jumping from label to label, like this dude might have been the person that ran Russell Simmons Music Group, but now he might be working over at Vice and he does placement of songs. 
You was already the over there. Okay. He knows now that you know how to make all kinds of songs. Guess what? We need background music well, for this show. What is the job description for that guy that work at Vice, that work at MTV, that work at BET, that work at VH1 to get I mean, your song placed on these type of shows, you know how to be having shows. It's kind of like A and R and or 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 a program directing. You know what I'm saying? So like for example, bank robber music, right? They sound libraries, but Bank Robber Music would be called like a TV sync label. You know what I mean? Bank Robber Music, this is actually real. Bank Robber Music is like tracks got dirty jewelry. Dirty jewelry is a song on his album, but now that song just played in a uh, show called Mrs. Fletcher on HBO this weekend. So you, he's getting paid. You so, so you getting paid and your song is just in the background at a party with kids like, you know, beer ponging and shit like that, and it's in the background. Funny thing is, same show. Mir Fontaine, another rapper from Camden, he got a placement on that. Different sound library because people is working things from different angles. Different angles. We got songs on in Ford Focus commercials and shit like that. Is, is it, Shout is out it, to Zeke Austin for that placement. Is it, is, is it good pay? If you just focus yeah. on that, it's good pay? Yeah, because what happens is you're trying to... What, the, the initial checks aren't going to be huge. You know what I'm saying? You get your checks. But when you got a lot of them, oh, I got 20 placements. Oh, that's sometimes I'm wa sometimes if I'm just watching TV, I'll hear my voice in the background of a joint. I'm watching something about fucking Mario, uh, his mom being on crack and shit like that, and I'm just like, oh, that's me. That shit only play for ten seconds. You getting a check? I'm you, confused. I don't know what the fuck y'all niggas is talking about. We talking, we're talking, talking about sound libraries. We talking about Who gives other. A fuck we about talking this? because we're, we're talking, talking about no, because we talking about the fucking artists that might be looking at this, and this is the part we will be giving game. Yeah, right. you, yeah. Giving if you game saying, if you saying that a nigga uh, should just give up music, maybe, maybe. I don't know if that's what you're saying. There's different type of ways. I'm saying to get there's different ways music. to get money out of music. All right. Go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Give, give, give. So it's different ways to get money out of music. You talked about fucking putting the light on and seeing the the, the, the semen on the walls and shit like that. They used to do it on a show called Room Raiders. You could get placements yeah, on these things. Yeah, on on MTV. Is, and it's always music playing. Sometimes they pop the music up and say the name of the artist. Correct. Sometimes they don't, but it's, it's yeah, ways to get money. That's music it's placement. What does yeah, that have to do with no, no, uh, no. my library? No, that's the sound that's, that's where they get it from. That's where they get the music from. Is the sound library? Yeah. So right. music placement. Look into that. Look into sound libraries. You know what I mean? And see what you could do because there's always a ways that you can make it, make your moves, and do all that type of shit out here in the music game. It's not just blowing up because everybody ain't gonna blow up. Everybody ain't gonna be on the top of the charts. Everybody ain't gonna be getting thirty bands a night. So look at different different ways to get your music out there and make it happen on the sound libraries. All right. Just for the record, we had the number two rap single in the country for 17 weeks. Never compare me to no <laughs> that's, raggedy that's ass still, Camden nigga. That shit look like that's just, just still, that that. shit still come on, go in the back of his mind. Oh, next, next, come on. Should I even ask this question? The, what's the top five things you ate that your woman do? Let's see. Uh, April Smith, April no, Cherry, no, no, no. April Smith. You're the one that ass, never April named it, yours. He the one that did it. Because it ain't worth me naming it. If you niggas going to sit here and name your motherfucking woman and chicks from Jersey. You didn't, you didn't name nobody. Get that ass out of here. Who did you nigga. name on your top list? Let me nigga name it chicks from Jersey. I want to name all five chicks from Jersey. And you named no one. Because I could play them off because I work with them. And she's very artsy. We ain't talking about no art. We talking about them asses. And who did you name? And who did you name? And who did you name? No one. Asses. You couldn't Listen, even name you one. Here we go right you here. don't follow the top five chicks on Instagram because of their art. You follow them because of their ass and their tits and not their wits. What are you talking about? Who did you, you, you I'm still trying to wonder who somebody, you picked. Uh, was, somebody, it, was it worth me picking? Because you niggas say it's April five somebody, times. Somebody, Listen, somebody you might, said five chicks from Jersey. Somebody, somebody, somebody might be creative. Somebody might be creative in their art. They, yeah. might, they might cook at, a nice pie. At the pie. end of the day, you want to know what happens? It just happens to be next when they cook in the pie. Hold on. I'm going to tell you something. the top five things y'all hate from your woman. The top five things that Y'all want me to go first? So y'all niggas had something yeah, to copy go to first, off of. nigga. I don't got a copy off your nut ass. <laughs> so y'all had something to copy off of. Oh, he, you got a list written down already? Mm -hmm. I hate when she never admits that she's wrong. That's my number one thing. See, I figured that too. Everything I see now was going to no, be listen, you niggas number one. Off. Nigga, I got my fuck shit yeah, written on a fucking piece of paper, dog. Right yeah, he here. What does it, right it say? He got what's it say? Down. What's it say at the no, top? No, what's fuck, it say? Fuck, what's listen. the top thing? We'll get not admit wrong. We'll, we'll, we'll Ooh, give you a five me. then. No, I'm going to get my motherfucker. Come on, my nigga. Fuck out of you, nut ass nigga. Number one, I hate I hate when I'm fucking driving and she just, hey, minute, stop it, stop, stop, stop it. Yo, yo, let me fucking operate well, you, this car. You drive like a 17-year-old kid. I, no, I, I agree with all that. Let me operate this fucking no, vehicle. I got my license. Like you 17. I know what I'm doing. That's Just why they gave, license, that's why they they gave me a fucking no, license. No, 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 no. Leave no, me the fuck no. alone when I'm you driving. You drive like you 16 and a half. That's the, num, 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 number two, sometimes we in bed and you keep worrying about me farting or whatever. That Don't worry about the fuck I'm doing. We in bed. 
No, straight up. But but but, but is it an under the cover fart or is it over the cover no. fart? Because <laughs> an under the cover one's is vicious. No, she, no, if it's no, an over the cover fart, no, she listen, can forget. This it. what happened. I'm the type of boy that, 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 that I ain't gonna say it like this. I slide to the side, throw the throw the blanket over me so it could go out. You see what I'm saying? And let it let it toot it out. <laughs> Throw it out, then, then I chill for a minute, then I throw it back up. Then she like, why did you move the blanket? What the fuck? Stop. That was a up. good strategy. Shut up. Like, it, it ain't even that deep. Like, straight up, it's, it's not even that deep. That's like the what's name. And then, like, sometimes it's just like, you know, just, just the upset shit. Her getting upset sometimes when you don't have to get the fuck upset. See, me, I'm a real type person. It, even he he do that shit, too, and it, it pissed me off because sometimes he it feel like he's my fucking woman because we be together and he just like some shit. This nigga go for this nigga. Not saying it like that, but this nigga. Fuck you mean, this nigga, nigga. This nigga. Hey, he, let me tell you something. You, you 20 jail. years in jail, you don't never tell listen, another listen, man he feel like he my woman. Listen, here go the from fuck you talking about? No, that's some go, unacceptable listen, shit. Listen, here go from zero you to 60. You did two decades, listen, nigga. Really? Listen, really? Listen, this nigga really? Listen, this nigga and I be like, shut the fuck up. Man, we it ain't that deep. You really? Know what I mean? So, <laughs> listen. I'll be like, listen. I'll be like, don't ever, you know, don't ever compare me to no Camden, Camden niggas. niggas. Oh my god! I don't want to no more. And I fuck with listen, them niggas. Listen, listen, but come the on, the whole dog. twist is this: the whole twist, like motherfuckers would be like, like me. I'm one of them people. Like I, I ain't gonna front. I'm not always happy, but it's like Gil to tell you, Gil just be like, cause you happy as shit, cause we we'll just be doing that. I just be to start dancing, do some, cause it's like I just don't and shit don't, <coughs> shit don't. But what's get to me? But them these. She would identify some shit that I don't even be paying attention to. She'd be like, no, babe, that was some nut shit. That was some, and they got that same type of thing where they just, if nut shit come, they'd see it and they, they identify that shit and, and I'm talking about a, a pen and some grass. Yeah, that was some nut shit. And loose, and loose shit. <laughs> Puerto Rich and them niggas had the same buzz as you. Yo, shout out Puerto Rich. Oh, shout out my nigga Puerto Rich. Puerto Rich is, who, who the That's fuck is my Puerto Rich? That, that's my nigga. Shout oh, out Puerto Rich. I knew Puerto, so, so Puerto Rich Puerto, longer than he knew Puerto, is Puerto Rich. Rich. Is Puerto Rich Puerto Rich? Think Rican about that. From Richmond, oh, California. Think about oh, that, nigga. Oh, I knew Puerto oh Rich God, longer than you, man. nigga. Oh, oh, listen, oh fuck God. out of here. First of all, first of all. Oh, and the other nigga, I got a song oh, with him. Oh, all right, listen, Dev, give me your top five. The things you don't like about your women. Go ahead. Yeah, let's listen. Let's please, go. Please, Not admit when she wrong. Worry about what other people say. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's a big one. That's a big one. You know what I mean? Somebody say something crazy about, you know what I mean? Something I did. And your nigga was your, your nigga So was, she gonna feel some type of way because I said you on crack, nigga. <laughs> mm -mm. No, 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 not that. She don't care what they say. Fuck Gilly. No, 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 no. Fuck Gilly. No, 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 no not shit like that, right? Uh, <laughs> yo, hey, this is a yo, crazy one. It's crazy. Y'all niggas don't even smoke a drink. His eyes was big as shit. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas smoke K2. Oh, go ahead. Yo, this a weird wearing wigs. You hate wearing wigs? I, I hate that my girl has like long hair already and she just put a wig no, on for no reason. Because you could be that's different. different. I, I, listen, for me personally, girls. for me personally, I just be like, it's just weird to me. For me, like when I see her and she's like a different, I'm like, yo, just <laughs> use this shit. Like this shit bothers me. You know what I mean? I love that shit. <laughs> okay. I'll be like, like Tammy? <laughs> I hate that shit. Over here. Oh, road rage. Her road rage crazy. Oh yeah, mine's crazy too. Like, like, shit. like it's crazy, crazy. Like, cause she do the same shit that she be mad at the other people for doing. Like, she looking down at her phone, the light done turned motherfucking green. She's still sitting there when they beep at her. She's like, oh, it's no big deal. It's yeah. cool. But when it's them, you know, she hate it. And then the top thing that I hate is she w likes me to watch movies that I completely hate. Like some old Disney shit or some bullshit. And Judy, she do that to him too. She no, she don't. Do that to him too. I pick the movie. And he fall asleep. <laughs> and he fall asleep, don't nigga, we watch Godfather uh, Harlem, nigga. <laughs> That was the shit. Fucking Disney listen, listen, movie. Nah, I, this nigga I finally got a a a joint. I saw Gil. Gil told me something, nigga. Why you keep going to movie? So I finally got one of them. Uh, what's some joints? Fire called? stick. Man, that shit that he just talked about. That joint was legendary. I didn't know how. Let to me give y'all my top five. Give us the top five. You number got. one. I already told y'all number one. She never admit when she wrong. Number two. She talked to me like a nigga from North. What you mean? Like when we arguing? It, oh yeah, she turned into somebody different. She I done turned been into there. somebody different. I didn't been there, and, and I then love it just it. be crucial because you like. I just wish she was a nigga for like 20 seconds so I could pick up and dump <laughs> on her fucking head and knock the she seeds talk, out of her watermelon. Talk, she talked. <laughs> One day yeah, she told I mean, him, you're acting like a woman right now. You're acting like a real female. I almost <laughs> fell out the door. This was the most funniest shit. He said, what? He lost. I can't believe what the fuck. He was just stuck. I love no, that I shit. Wasn't. I went I outside wanted, laughing I like wanted, a motherfucker. I wanted to pick up and knock was, the seeds out I of her watermelon. I almost jumped through the car window. But, I loved it. But, but uh, you know. That shit I was crazy. Jail. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when she fall asleep when she drunk. That shit burns me up. And you still take advantage of it. You know, you know, you got no. scrapes. You got rapes on your belt. Uh, because if you've you been in a relationship as no. long as me, no. it ain't called no, a scrape. 
No, he don't that, believe. That he don't pussy. believe in like Gil marriage Cosby. rapes. No. no, that's Gil Cosby. I wait, t- wait, hold on. That's that's a real thing. Marriage rapes. Yeah, you can get raped in a marriage. You get case. No, you, you can't. Get, yes, you can. If they yeah. say no, you can't, get, you can't get a rape. You can get a case, bro. No, you can't. Bro, yes. <laughs> he, 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 go, he wait, go to jail. He's going to jail. Because he, he's a mental Another thing, I think, another thing I hate is side nigga Sundays. Oh, yeah, that's the worst. I didn't be, listen. I didn't been there. I didn't came over the crib on Sunday. I'd be like, what's going on? Oh, man, I'm just, he got his robe on. No, I was just one of them. You just see a nigga walk by in the background? No, no, no. 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 She leave. She, she leave. Uh-huh. She leave. They go on dates. They get a hotel, whatever. But the whole twist be like him. He just be like, he have his robe on. As a young smoking. boy, because I always see four for fours. In the, in, smoking a blunt. She she get a nigga four for four in a chili bowl from Wendy's. Yeah. He see that on the credit report. But the whole twist but is see, this. But see, honestly, this is good therapy, though. If you've been with your woman for 20 plus years, side nigga Sundays is a good therapy. Let her have a side. Because listen, all right, how many t- in 20 plus years, how many times you think you you, you slept with V? 19,833? You think she ain't tired of that dick? <laughs> Yo. You think she you think she ain't tired of the This sound good. This you is think funny. She, you think she don't want nothing new? This sound good. So sometimes you gotta let her experiment, man. So know. so so you so you have side bitch Saturdays. No, <laughs> he'll do that. Oh, so you that the nigga. Nice, so, need, that was a nice setup. I, I, that was I, one of my jokes. Oh, oh, I don't need. I don't need. Rat pack. New. That was a snitch back. So 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 snitch back. He snitched y'all. Snitch. <laughs> so basically, he's one two three snitch back. back. Snitch back. So <laughs> basically, <laughs> what you saying is you the nigga that you you don't stay faithful while you let your girl go and rock niggas out on Absolutely. Sundays. Absolutely. Yeah, and he'd be a little depressed because I come and they have his robe on. He's not allowed to smoke in the kitchen, but when he's smoking <laughs> in the kitchen, that's like the past joint. I'm like, yo, too, you know you can't be smoking in this joint? She don't like the smell. She'd be in the curtains and all that. <sighs> Fucked. <laughs> I'd be like, where Tootie? He'd be like, Sunday. I'd be like, damn. He'd be like, oh. He, you see the beer, you see the ICF right uh-huh. there, it's 2 11 40. His hair don't be shaved. He'd be like, come on, man, let's go somewhere. I'd be like, come on, let's go somewhere. Nah, I'm not up to hey, it right now. The last thing I hate is when. She complain about bullshit like that they ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Why you leave the toilet seat up? Why you shave your head? Your head and his hair still on the sink? Like shut yo, up. she hate that. She just said, listen in the car. She be like, did you clean the sink? Like like she young boy him. Excuse, <laughs> did you close the refrigerator? Did you put the lid back on? She young boy. The <laughs> I hate that shit. She young boy the shit out of him. But like, dude, you got a lot shit. of bad habits basically like that. that she got so what? <laughs> I got a good fuck. I got got a look. Got a good a lot of good fucking habits too. Mm-hmm. That motherfucker, all the bills is paid. It's a great fucking habit, ain't it? Yes. She said something about Memphis Bleak in there, and he was just like, nigga, I had the number two record <laughs> in, the, in the country. No, I'm just <laughs> saying, as an independent. I'm just as a, saying. As an independent. I'm, I'm just Memphis. saying as an independent. He was like, fuck Memphis. I'm just, tell, Memphis I'm just saying as an independent. You know, I set this whole motherfucking on fire. So for you to sit here and don't, <laughs> no, no, wait. don't do that, All right, we ain't want you to go back I, there. I ain't get my credit on the don't record. Don't do that, nigga. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I ain't get no credit on the Don't do that, nigga. Because I was writing sending raps home. Like, and then, then, and oh, then, so really? Hold then, on. So where, then, oh, oh. So you then, didn't have a number, then, number one nothing. Wallow did. Yeah. First of all, so, first of all, let me just tell you something. When me and Wallow met, I had one rap. My one rap was better than all Wallow 99 joints. I don't know. He said he was sending listen, them listen. bars home. That's first why Wallow That's why Wallow wanted to come get with me every day. First of all, I didn't even know this nigga was my cousin. So I took him to the crib and I, my brother came on the stairs and was like, yo, cuz. And that's we when, was I, young niggas, that's when I let up off him and said, okay, young, young I ain't gonna barbecue with this rap. You know what I mean? I, I ain't was gonna, gonna beat him the fuck I up. I know he wasn't, he wasn't gonna do nothing. <laughs> and you know what was crazy? For him to make money off a of rap and be in the game, he literally thought that shit was a myth. I he's thought it like, was some nuts. He's shit. like, you can't make no money. Eh, shit ain't niggas ain't. I said, yo, you can make money off this shit. But so, that's what I'm trying to tell Dev. But listen, yeah, yes. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Slap Listen. Shit out oh yeah. By the way. By the way. By the way. That that whole crazy Camden and Philly debate between Dev and uh, 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 Filthy Dev and Nut Ass Gill. That whole debate that was brought to you by. Have you had any <laughs> hair lately? It was brought to you by everything. <laughs> DivaGlam.com because that type of energy that 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 would make that you say good. we need to get make, that out. That would make you say now I know how you really feel about Camden. <laughs> Philly niggas ain't on no, Camden. Listen, 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 listen. I'm not Philly niggas didn't want I'm us on the radio. This. I'm gonna just say this. Have you had any good hair lately? It's also sponsored by a close associate of ours that work with us sometime. That. I'm going to just say this. Let it go. Sometimes you got to let the hairline go. So shout out to B-Rock. Yo, whoa. I ain't saying nobody. <laughs> no, I'm putting I'm it out snitching. there. I'm putting I'm it out there. He's a snitch back. That's a snitch back. Snitch back. This is from this B-Rock. This B-Rock, B-Rock got him last week, so he bad. He's still he bad, bad from last shit. week. B-Rock. No, if you have a friend, straight up, if you got a friend who, who hairline is leaving him, like his hairline is like vacationing and you trying to- You got to be honest with like, him. And relocating. If your hairline is relocating, 
I think you need some good hair lately. If you didn't have any hair, good hair lately in there. The Hairlines is going on vacation is sponsored by the luxurious and glorious, the soul glow, everything, divaglam.com. <laughs> Let's get into uh, <laughs> stories from a cell. Stories from the Cell. Now, Stories from the Cell is brought to you by DepQuest. DepQuest is an organization where, though, if you owe $10,000, they, they, they will bring 25% down. They'll help you. They, they, they're locked in with all type of creditors, over 1,600 creditors. Uh, they will get you. I'm talking, about whatever, I'm talking about whatever you have debt for. I'm talking about major credit cards, department stores, personal unsecured loans, insurance policies and collections, bank loans, gas cars, finance companies, installment loans, repo, defensive balances, um, business debt. Uh, business loans, business credit cards, bank overdraft fees, furniture cards, whatever it may be. Listen, they eliminate interest rates. They get you out of debt without. They get you out of debt without bankruptcy. You know, have affordable payment. I mean, affordable pro uh, payment, twelve to fifty-two months. Reduce your credit card debt by fifty percent. No upfront fees, no obligations. And I'm telling you, man, DebtQuest is locked in with all type of people. When I say they locked in, they're locked in with over sixteen hundred. You know, I me mean, different type of. Credits and all, all that type, they're locked in. So like, they can straighten you out. So whatever so you're going to So if you're in debt. I mean, all type of creditors. Six, over 1,600 creditors they're working with. DebtQuest is working with. So if you're in debt, check DebtQuest out. 1-800-736-0660. 1-800-736-0660. DebtQuest.com. Get it them, and they're going to bless you. So you get, so you go to, so you call DebtQuest, you're in debt. You got over $10,000. You call them. It's going to go down to $5,000 you're going to pay. It's going to go to $5,000. They're not going to take no money from you until... They lock in these contracts and the deals with the people that you owe the money and they make the agreement once they do that. So if you owe like 10000 they'll take it down to probably like, you know, because you got to still got to pay. 3500 maybe. No, 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 no. 5000 and then you got to pay them their fee. So they're going to take your debt down to 50%. You know what I mean? You pay them okay. their fee. 50% of what you owe. So if you owe ten, you wind up owing five. If you owe 100000 you wind up owing the 50000 Get with DebtQuest.com and they're going to take care of you. Once again, 1-800-736-0660. Let's go. Stories from the cell. Now, stories from, whoa. I, I did a pop tracks. That was a pop <laughs> Come on, man. These chairs. I ain't shout out the pop tracks. These chairs is crazy. Now, green peppers and onions. Stories from the cell. This stories from the cells. It's called green peppers and onions. <sighs> you know, in jail, you try to figure out hustles. Some people hustle whatever type of thing they can hustle. You know, and uh, smut books. I, I was a businessman in different type of ways. You know, in jail, a lot of people become businessmen. People that never had businesses before, they start up a store, a grocery store. They sell stuff out of the kitchen. Me, I was a guy at first, one of my first hustles in jail was green peppers and onions. And what I would do is, in sugar, what I would do is, I go in there, <laughs> I get with the guy because when you work in the kitchen, you might be just a regular sweeper guy. You might be a cleanup guy. Me, I was just doing a little prep work. So I went right to the green peppers and onions, chopping, you know, you got to chop potatoes. You got to prep all the food. So it might, you might got to chop a bin, a big, a big bag of onions, to put it so they have it for the food. Do y'all like have gloves on? Or yeah, something? we got gloves on. We got uh, gloves on. They had like dough cutters. You're digging your nose a lot. No, oh, come on, man. Putting boogies Sometimes, all listen, in the listen, mashed it depends on it shit. depends on what jail you at. Sometimes they have machines that you put the stuff in and, and they chop it. And sometimes they do prep where you slice it yourself, like dough cutters. I don't know if you're familiar with the dough cutter. It got a white handle and, and like a blade on it, and you just chop it. You know what I mean, me, I was like, you know, sometimes I like the dough cutter so it could take me time. And the time that I'm taking. Dough cutting the potatoes, the dough cutting the stuff. I'm able to put my onions and green peppers in the side. People might come over, dudes might be like, wow, I need uh, four or five green peppers. So I'll be down in the kitchen where the price is a little different. If I'm selling you the green peppers down in the kitchen, that means I ain't got to get them in the block. So the price is a little cheaper. You're like, wow, I'm going to make sure you got me these. And that might be his hustle. I might be distributing gill, green peppers, and onions. You know what I mean? He might be like, listen, man, I need about 20 of them a week, 20 green peppers, 20 onions. And he might have a way where though he's taking them going to the near the kitchen window with people coming down. So say you might be coming down to get your chow. He might be near the window where the trays go at. <laughs> Had it all wrapped up in plastic. <laughs> you <laughs> taking it back, and then y'all y'all got an operation, a big-time enterprise. So I was going to, <laughs> no, that's big-time stuff. That's big shit. That's a big, that's a corporation. So so everybody in jail, like a person can make you a chi chi right? You can make a chi chi but if it don't got green peppers and onions, it don't really matter. Mm. That's the flavor. When that when that green pepper and onion is sauteing with the soup, the seasoning, the the juice from your mackerel, because you know mackerels is good, it's big time in jail. That's the fish. It's a, it costs like like sixty seven cents. I don't know how much it costs now. It depends on what state prison you in. But the mackerels, when that mackerel juice is like sort of like sardines, something it's different. It's mackerel. That fillet mackerel juice hit your hit the hit the the, the dry rice. 
and that oodles and noodles when you first prepping and you shaking it in the bag, and, and you got your green peppers and your onions. And in who's seasoning this? Seasoning this for you? No, 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 no. I'm seasoning it myself. Like if I'm making it, I'm seasoning it. Okay. I'm, I'm making my own. I, I was a dirty rock, te- dirty rice technician. So you put your soap seasoning. So, in. so who you, who else used to make you joints? I'm no comments because he's trying to say somebody seasoned my noodles. They did. No, 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 no. That don't count. A season, you only season somebody noodles when you make them oodles and noodles. Now that day that you did, you made oodles and noodles and you seasoned my noodles. Nobody, you, nobody seasoned my noodles in jail. I don't play that. I make my own oodles and noodles. Now if they making a a a, 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 a chi chi. That don't count. That's different because that's like something different. So so once you do that, that green pepper onion. Let me tell you something, man. It's this close. There's certain things in jail. That when that that when it comes to the food, the culinary side, is this close to being out? When that green pepper and that onion, that sometimes you don't know how your green pepper and onion will travel. Sometimes it can travel to you, you know what I mean, up under somebody's nuts or somewhere. <laughs> straight up, no, no, straight up. Because once you put it in the plastic, dudes, because they pat you down coming out the kitchen sometimes mm. when you're a worker. So you don't know. You you be having a booth masters and all that. You don't mm. know how. You know you're, what that means? Put it in his ass. No, no, no. Yeah, so you, you ate a green onion no. out of niggas' ass. He did. That's I'm a done. fact. No, he did. He's lying. Himself, That's though. a fact, you just, bro. You just told I didn't say me. You just told yourself. You never know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go green pepper. I'm going to go green pepper. At some point, before you got to the kitchen, at some point, you ate an onion or ass. We're going to end this shit now. They're lying to me. They're lying to me. They're out of niggas' ass. Yo, listen. You ain't going to fuck bread up. Anybody that was in jail, they had certain people that they body stuff on. Anybody was in jail, he onions out of niggas' ass. You might have had a big funky old head that how he get his joints back. He got it all in his crouch area. He's smelling. And, you know what I mean? Ooh. And he go to pass you the joke. I didn't have them type of connects. Yes, did. I brought my own stuff back. Okay. I think you did. I no, agree. Come on, man. Come this on, one man. thing hey, listen, I agree with Jilly. Listen, man. <laughs> listen, <laughs> man. We want to sign out for a bit. I swear to right now before we tell all this stuff. Listen, I'm going to just say this, man. You know, if you was in jail, you know that green pepper and onion. And that with a little bit of nut juice on it, <laughs> when you drop it, yeah, you, when a nigga pull it from under his sweaty nuts, you, you squeeze it all into so that's it. That's the real, that's, that's the real that. definition of seasoning niggas noodles <laughs> up. <laughs> Yo, niggas is different where no, you where you was locked up. No, niggas said when a nigga pull that green pepper from up under the no, it's I still warm. Like that. I ain't say nothing niggas like that. Niggas said it is still warm, and he drop it in that bag. Them green peppers and onions, them green peppers and onions in jail in that commissary. You you bring, listen. It bring the commissary to life, man. <laughs> the green preps and onions. What he took up, bring it from under tuck, and that motherfucker still warm, like out the microwave. No Cause you know we ain't got microwaves, so when that motherfucker come up and it's still warm, oh man, still tender. It's got that little, it got that little juice on it. That I don't flavor. think they had that in Camden jails. Shout out oh Camden. My God. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here. Don't start this dude. Hey, this Camden. Don't bring up Camden no more today. Shout out to Camden. I love hey, listen, Camden. Uh, me baby. too. And shout out to all them <laughs> niggas. Uh, Porter Ricks. <laughs> Shaquem. Uh, Mir Fontaine. Mir Fontaine. Mir Fontaine. 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 I fuck with all of y'all. Yeah. But y'all know. Gilly the, y'all know the kid Buzz was goddamn a different goddamn. Bitches was falling out like Michael Jackson. That little punk ass buzz, he ain't had buzz out no no Philly. Philly. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. No, that's you know what's so crazy? Jail. You know what's so crazy? You can't tell me enough. And I'm going to end it off like this. You can't tell me another nigga as an independent that's been buzzing for 20, 20 years on planet Earth. What you mean independent? You. You're not independent. You had to Bye. deal with We had this guy. Money. Bye. Man, I was like, man, 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 man,